Hello, Christine Niles here. Before we get into headlines, please remember you can watch this and all the videos we produce over at churchmilitant.com. There's Vortex, Headlines, Download, and all sorts of free and premium shows, not to mention daily news and commentary on current events relevant to the Catholic world. Please click the link after the video, and we'll see you at churchmilitant.com. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Tuesday, December 12th, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A Catholic church in Washington state displayed a pagan altar to a death god. Friday, the pastor of St. Augustine Parish in Seattle, Father Paul Pluth, confirmed he displayed a table featuring Santa Muerte, or Saint Death, claiming the Archdiocese of Seattle approved it. The Archdiocese, however, refused to indicate whether it had approved the display, which was set up in early November, but after only two days removed when a parishioner complained about the sacrilege. The devotion to Santa Muerte is popular in Mexico, where it has a following of 10 to 12 million, including Mexico's drug cartels. At least one Vatican official has condemned it, calling it blasphemy, while a number of Mexico's bishops have urged the faithful not to take part in the diabolical devotion. A federal court is blocking Trump's petition to delay transgenders entering the military. Monday, the U.S. District Court for D.C. rejected the Trump administration's petition to block transgender recruits from joining the armed services starting in January. The ruling means new recruits who identify as transgender must be permitted to join in 2018. Trump announced over the summer that the military would not allow new transgender recruits, issuing an executive order in August formalizing the announcement. But a federal court in D.C. declared his executive order likely unconstitutional, ordering the Department of Defense to move forward, forward with transgender recruits. Trump is appealing the ruling. Poland's incoming prime minister is calling the European Union to return to its Christian roots. In an interview with Polish Catholic TV last week, Mateusz Morawiecki said, quote, My dream is to re-Christianize the EU. I would love to help the West with proper values. His comments come in the wake of an EU resolution pressuring Poland to provide its people free contraception and threatening the country with sanctions if it moves ahead plans to ban eugenic abortion. Morawiecki responded by declaring Poland a great, proud nation and vowed his country would not bow to blackmail from EU bureaucrats. A Colorado megachurch pastor led the congregation in a prayer of consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Last Friday, on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, an unnamed pastor at New Life Church, founded by disgraced Ted Haggard, asked the congregation to pray the prayer with him, composed by Pope Leo XIII in 1899. He closed the prayer with the sign of the cross. A Catholic witness there took photos of the words of the prayer displayed on the big screen with a picture of the statue of St. Peter from the Vatican. A California bishop is proclaiming the upcoming anniversary of Roe v. Wade, a day of reparation. In a letter to his diocese last week, Sacramento Bishop Jamie Soto designated January 22nd a day of fasting, prayer, penance, and works of mercy in reparation for the 1973 legalization of abortion. Soto is asking his priests to pray and preach for an end to abortion, encouraging his flock to take part in the January 27th Walk for Life West Coast in San Francisco to, quote, help restore a culture of life and a civilization of love to our country so marred by the court decision of Roe v. Wade. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about a sign to be contradicted. And check out the download, where the panel discusses a gay gene study. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And even better, head over to churchmilitant.com to watch headlines, vortex, download, and hundreds of hours of video, as well as read articles on our site and check out reporting you won't find at any other Catholic outfit. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So please be sure to follow us there as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com. God bless.